Welcome to OK Miniatures. As a writer, the goal is to have like a story come to life so that it feels like the characters come off the page. And when I dabble in writing, I feel like I don't really quite get that to happen. But I think I can make a diorama of something epic with the character coming out of the page. So that's what my goal was. Have something just coming out of a book and look alive. So I started out by cutting up some pages of a book. It was a little bit painful to cut this book. Um, I value books. I, I don't like to see books destroyed. I don't like it when people dog-ear the pages or um, bend the spine back or leave them face down. Um, no, just treat your books with respect. But this book, I would not recommend it to anybody and it just wasn't, it wasn't a very good book. So I got it for super cheap from some library deal of get a whole bunch of books for cheap. Um, so I didn't feel bad about cutting it. In fact, I think, I'm not going to name the book, but I think the world might be better off with one less copy of it. So there's that. I was going to originally make something inside the book, but it was just not enough time and I didn't have a good idea. And so I just scrapped that plan and save that for another day. Instead, I went for making a little book out of these pages. So I trimmed out the pages to be nice, the right size and nice and square, or relatively square. And then I hot glued the ends of them together um, to form the seam instead of doing like a fancy realistic sewing shenanigans. I just went for hot glue. Since this book won't be like turning pages a lot, it should be fine. I also uh, hot glued some cardboard as the cover over the spine and just to give me a base to work off of later. Then I 3D printed a wolf face. I wanted a really epic snarling wolf that's like jumping out of the page. So I found a head that was mostly there but it was cut off at a weird angle. So I had to, after I 3D printed it, I used some Sculpty to sculpt the neck portion um, since it was really cut off underneath the jaw. To cure the sculpty, I needed to then cut it off of the resin because I don't think 3D printed resin, 3D UV cured resin should go in the oven. Not 100% sure on that, but better safe than sorry. So I just sliced it off, cooked that, as well as some paws that I quickly sculpted up too. And then once that was baked, I used some Millie putt to fill in the gap between the um, the throat neck area warped, so I needed some milliput putt to fill in that gap. Then I primed the model pieces and then painted up with gray, just using a dark gray for the head and um, upper area of the paws, and then for the paws themselves and the throat area, I used a lighter color. Um, and then I sliced a hole in the book, book, so all the way through. Um, this book won't be able to close anyway. It would be kind of cool if it closed and then you like open it up and there the wolf was, but that's not really practical for my design, so I just sliced a hole through the back um, and it's just permanently open now. I also, when I did that, ripped the pages a little bit just to give it a little bit of um, that look of tearing paper. I'll, add to this later, but that just gave it a good base. And then I also ripped a little bit of the paper and glued the paws in. I also dumped a whole bunch of hot glue on the back of the head just to hold it to something more than just a few pages. Um, yeah. When I glued the paws in too, I sliced them off at the right size to make it look good and then at an angle so that when the book's open they're still coming straight out. Then I added some shredded paper around the wolf, just trying to keep the words somewhat reasonable angle, and then just having a bunch of bent paper basically all around the head and paws to make it feel like the papers, a bunch of layers of paper are being torn as this wolf jumps through. And then I added two front pages, one on either side, just to make it look like it was an actual book, even though some of the words are cut off and whatever else. 
Finally, I used some brown construction paper just to add a simple cover, folding them around the edges just to cover up that little bit of a cardboard look and give it a little bit of a trim around the edge, just a little bit of final touch. It's not perfect cover, but it adds a nice touch to it. And there it is. This was a really fun, quick project. And I think it looks pretty epic. Um, I love wolves, so this this was really, really fun for me to paint up. And just the idea of something jumping out of a book was really cool to me. If you like this video, please hit thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing. And with that, I'll see you in the future.